VMW ARE VMFS's VMW ARE, Incorporated's clustered file system used by the company's flagship server virtualization suite, vSphere. It was developed to store virtual machine disk images, including snapshots. Multiple servers can read-write the same file system simultaneously while individual virtual machine files are locked. VMFS volumes can be logically grown by spanning multiple VMFS volumes together. It is not mandatory to use VMFS with VMW ARE. An alternative is NFS. Version history, there are four versions of VMFS, corresponding with ESX server product releases. VMFS1 was used by ESX Server V1X. It did not feature the cluster file system properties and was used only by a single server at a time. VMFS1 is a flat file system with no directory structure. VMFS2 is used by ESX Server V2X and V3X. VMFS2 is a flat file system with no directory structure. VMFS3 is used by ESX Server V3X and vSphere 4X. Notably, it introduces directory structure in the file system. VMFS5 is used by vSphere 5X. Notably, it raises the extent limit to 64 terabytes and the file size limit to 62 terabytes, though vSphere versions earlier than 5.5 are limited to VMDKs smaller than 2 terabytes. VMFSL is the underlying file system for VSAN 1.0. Leaf-level VSAN objects reside directly on VMFSL volumes that are composed from server-side direct attached storage. File system format is optimized for DAS. Optimization include aggressive caching with for the DAS use case, a strip lockdown lock manger and faster formats. Features allows access by multiple ESX servers at the same time by implementing per-file locking. SCSI reservations are only implemented when logical unit number metadata is updated, add or delete an ESX server from a VMW ARE VMFS volume without disrupting other ESX servers. With ESX ESXi4, VMFS volumes can also be expanded using LUN expansion. Optimize virtual machine I.O. with adjustable volume disk, file and block sizes. Recover virtual machines faster and more reliably in the event of server failure with distributed journaling. Limitations, can be shared with up to 64 ESX servers. Maximum file system size is 50 terabytes as a VMFS3, and 64 terabytes as a VMFS5. Maximum LUN size of 2 terabytes as a VMFS3 and 62 terabytes as a VMFS5. In VMFS3 and VMFS5 prior to vSphere 5.1, the maximum number of hosts which can share a read-only file is 8. This affects the scalability of link clones sharing the same base image. In vSphere 5.1, this limit is increased to 32 with the introduction of a new locking mechanism. VMFS3 limits files to 262,144 blocks, which translates to 256 gigabytes for 1 megabyte block sizes up to 2 terabytes for 8 megabytes block sizes. VMFS5 uses 1 megabyte blocks throughout, and has a file size limit of 62 terabytes, though the VMDK size is restricted to 2 terabytes 512B in the SXI versions earlier than 5.5 due to a limitation in the version of SCSI emulated. There is also a limit of approximately 30,720 files on a single VMFS3 data store. This has been raised to 130,690 files on VMFS5. Open source implementations equals fluid OPS command line tool equals a Java open source VMFS driver enables read only access to files and folders on partitions formatted with a virtual machine file system is developed and maintained by fluid operations AG it allows features like offloaded backups of virtual machines hosted on VMW ARESX hosts up to VMFS v3 equals Glandium VFS fuse mount equals based on fluid OPS code VMFS tools evolved to add more VMFS features and supports read-only VMFS mounts through the standard Linux VFS and the Fuse framework.
developed by Christoph Philot and Mike Hummy and available as source code download at the Glandium.org VMFS Tools page or the Debian VMFS Tools and Ubuntu VMFS Tools packages. References External links, VMFS Technical Overview and Best Practices, VMWARE, Inc. VMWARE VMFS Product Page, VMWARE, Inc. Open Source VMFS Implementation, Project VMFS